Glory be to God. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Assignments, you have overcome them. Those challenges, you have overcome them. Those money issues, you have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. something. Our God is so faithful. Our God is so real. Our God can never miss his word. He can never lie. Our God is true. come as a father to release the father's blessing but i cannot do anything except what is written in the word of god i cannot do anything but by the power and the grace of god and if you miss this you miss the rest of the things that god wants to do and so notice today i'm more like teaching so that you get understanding so god according to john 4:24 god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. We go back to creation. When he began to create, he just spoke words. And whatever he spoke became. And later, to whatever he spoke to, out of it came forth what he wanted. But in verse 26 of Genesis 1, we see God speaking to himself. The principle in creation is to whatever he speaks, out of it comes forth what he wants. He says, I want a man who is in my image and my likeness. So out of himself came forth, boo, spirit man. Because God is spirit, he produced spirit man. Out of himself came forth spirit man. I want to, you to hear this. Out of himself came forth spirit man. Out of himself came forth spirit man. So man, according to God is a spirit he has a soul and he lives in a body but the real man is spirit please pay attention with your spirit you relate to god i say that again with your spirit you relate to god with your spirit you can connect to god and get every spiritual thing that god is releasing to you and if you will now tune your spirit to connect to God, you can get the fullness of everything God has for you. I'll show you why. Mm. God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Let's go back to Genesis chapter 1. Let's go now to verse 20, 27. Again, in verse 27, he tells us, that so God created man. Uh -huh. Genesis 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God. What does God look like? He is a spirit. So he created what? Spirit man. Male and female created he them. Okay. Here we go. So he created this man. But look now at verse 28. Verse 28. Very important. And then when he had created him, 
excuse me, pay attention. This is a man who's been created in the image and likeness of God. In the plan of God, this man must have dominion. Genesis 1.26. This man must have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing, over every creeping thing that moves upon the earth. He must rule. He must be in charge. He must control. He must be the one who decides what must happen. This man God has created is the ruler over all the earth. He rules on behalf of God. Mm. When God creates him, he is perfect. He is a spirit being. He is perfect. No flaws in him. He looks like God. <laughs> and this man who looks like God has no problem. There is no sin in him. And yet, when God puts him here after he creates him, God releases a blessing on them. Ah, this is awesome. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moves upon the earth. So, man, if he was left created, spirit man, but did not have the blessing, he would not have functioned. Therefore, I come to you to let you know that the reason we are here on this 27th day of March, listening to the word of God, is so that you may get the blessing. So that you may become, so that you may function, so that you may succeed, so that you may reign with Christ in this life, so you may win every battle, so that you may progress in life. That's the reason we are here. We thank God that we are born again. We thank God that the spirit man is okay in us, but we need the blessing. And that's the blessing I'm bringing to you. This man, Adam, if he was not blessed, he would never have had power to rule, to control, to be in charge. The blessing was God's empowerment for him to become what God said he must be and do what God says he must do and produce what God wants him to produce. The blessing is God's empowerment into your life. I love this. It's powerful. And God blessed them. <laughs> if I were you, I'll just catch that one and say, God is blessing me right now. If I were you, I'll repeat. I'll stand up and shout, God is blessing me right now. If I were you, I'll shout even louder, God is blessing me right now. Not God will bless me. God is blessing me right now. That's why I'm in his presence. That's why I'm receiving the word. That's why I'm learning this truth. So that I may now receive and walk in and function by the blessing of the Lord. For the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and adds no sorrow. The blessing of the Lord. Mm. So the scripture tells us, that he blessed him. The only thing I want you to notice is Genesis 2, Genesis 2 verse 7. Here he created spirit man. Genesis 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. I want you to notice <laughs> that God creates the body and the soul in chapter 2. But the blessing is given in chapter 1. The blessing was not given to the body and to the soul. Because the real man who is spirit is the one who must be blessed so he can be in control over all. 
Wait a minute. Where does he get the body from? He gets the body from the dust of the, of the ground. So he uses earth materials. And when he molds that and breathes into that, the Bible says, and man became a living soul. Listen carefully. The spirit man on his own could not relate to things around him. So God takes earthly materials and adds to him a house so he can relate to things around. Because it is in this soulish area that the man has a will that the man <laughs> has the taste. Mm -hmm. He can feel things, the senses if you want. It's in this area that he has the mind. It's in this area, therefore, that he can say, mm, these flowers are nice and they smell nice. Before this, just as a spirit man, he can't smell them. They're not spirit. Are you still with me? So God adds to him. But the blessing he put on the spirit man. May I add to that? That every time you want God to bless you, you need to remember this. That God is spirit. And since the blessing is an empowerment, it is then a spiritual empowerment by God who is spirit to help you succeed in what you are doing. Woo! Succeed in every area of your life. <laughs> so if it is a spiritual thing, you cannot handle it by the flesh. Most of us, when we're thinking of the blessing, we're thinking of the blessing, we're looking at a car, and we're looking at a nice house, we're looking at money. Those things are not the blessing. Those things are a result of God's empowerment on your life. So the real blessing is spiritual. So if you're focused just on the car and do not get the spiritual part, you can't get the car because the car will come only when you receive the spiritual empowerment. Woo, that's powerful. <laughs> so CLC, we are gathered here on this day, 27th of March, making sure I don't miss the blessing. 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 I do not miss the blessing. <laughs> so, I did mention that this blessing is spiritual. Can we prove that in scripture? Yes, we can. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Please pay attention. We are now in the New Testament. Pay attention when he tells us how, what God has done. Here we go. What does he say? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. So he tells us right in this scripture that all the blessings of God that have come to us, they are spiritual blessings. They are not material. But if you receive the spiritual blessing, then by the spiritual blessing, you can see its effects in your life as things begin to manifest for you in abundance. <clears throat> That's awesome. So your focus must not be on the car, but the blessing. I repeat, your focus must not be uh -huh, on the house, but the blessing. Because the blessing is what produces the material things. So the empowerment comes to make this blessing, this empowerment, work in the natural world for you and produce great things for you. You will never be the same again. I want you to know, you will never, never go backwards again. I want you to know, you will never fail again. Once you catch this blessing, which is spiritual, you can't miss God. 
You can't lose any fight. You can't be destroyed. May I also throw in this. You can't even be sick. Thank you. It's rather quiet there. But you can't be sick because the blessing is God's empowerment to make you to succeed or to prosper in every area of life, including health area. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Last time I was with you, I talked about Abraham, how God blessed him. And then I asked you a question. I showed you the things that happened after the blessing. How, you know, God greatly, you know, has blessed him and is greatly, he's made him very great. And then we see it by the material things that is happening. But one of the things you also see in Abraham, you never see him or hear him sick. <laughs> That's awesome. What about Jesus, the seed of Abraham? And you are the seed of Abraham through Jesus Christ. Was he ever sick? No mention of it. Yet he walked in the same world, had the same temptations. He had a chance also to be weak. He was hungry like you and me. And yet he still was above sin and was successful in everything he did. The blessing. The blessing. I want to repeat the blessing. I want to repeat the blessing. The blessing. I see you progressing in life. Yes, it's in a time of COVID. But COVID has no say over us. <laughs> because I am seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. There is no COVID there. My life is hid in God in Christ Jesus. There is no COVID in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm operating from the heavenlies. That's the place of the blessing. I want to declare CLC, you will never fail in God's missions. You will never fail even in your own personal assignments, the things you want to achieve in life. I want you to know your family is not going down. No, 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 no. I want you to know, yes, 1,000 may fall on one side, 10,000 on the other side. But these pestilences, they'll never come near your dwelling place. I want to declare in the blessing, that's where your safety is. So let me start coming down so I can say a few things. So as we look at this, that God makes a spiritual man and then blesses the spiritual man for him to succeed in the earth realm. Oh, I want to say that again. God makes a spiritual man and blesses him, this spiritual man, so he can succeed in the earthly realm. Wow. 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 May this earth begin to answer to you. May this earth open up its goodness, its treasure to you. May this earth speak to you or speak for you. When people rise against you, may the earth fight them. May the stones speak and stone them. Hey, I don't know how it works. All I know is when I'm in the blessing, man, the blessing works for me. Do you remember? <laughs> was, it not, was it not Joshua, if I am right? You know, who even the earth, the, 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 the sun would stop so he can win a fight. Material things. They listen to blessed people. You will speak to this mountain. You will say, be removed and go over there. And it shall obey you. When you believe that those things which you say shall come to pass, they will come to pass. If you can send it away, you can bring it to you. What's in the mountain? In the mountain, there's a lot of trees. Those trees can be wood, can be furniture. In the mountain, there's a lot of stones. There can be even precious metals there. In other words, you can move all these things to where you want them to go. If Jesus can speak and tell people, throw the nets over there. They fished. And at an hour when you're not supposed to fish, the blessed one comes and says, throw. Because he is blessed, when he speaks his word, becomes as powerful as God's word in God's own mouth. 
That's awesome. Because the empowerment is from God. <laughs> he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. May I therefore propose to you. May I therefore propose to you. That you are blessed and you are blessed for life with everything you need. Can I prove that? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You see, when we come, sometimes we come as if, uh, you know, uh, 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 we don't have these things. It's a question of knowing. I'm, I'm just running through the Bible so that you can see from Second Peter. And from Second Peter, the scripture says, chap chapter 1, verse 2, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ, according as his divine power has given unto us all things. His divine power has given unto us all things. All things. What I'm teaching you now is not teaching you because you don't have. I'm teaching you to receive what God releases so that now you can see manifestations. <laughs> By his divine power is given unto us all things. And in the all things, he says, all, all things that pertain unto life, everything you need to live in this earth, and godliness, and everything you need to live a godly life, God has released it. Now, if he has given us, why are we not seeing it? It's this empowerment that we need, that we may receive and function in it. Now, I'm going to be a bit slow. I want to show you another scripture. Please turn Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. What I have given you is a report of what God has done, how he has done it. Now, when you come into Christ, please listen carefully. Maybe before we go to Isaiah, let me clear the ground. What it is now is for you to understand that when you come into Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. When you came into Christ, the thing that happened was that according to Galatians 2, 20, you died on that cross. I've been crucified with Christ Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Christ, 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 Christ. So it's a new man who is living in me. It's not the old man. The old man has died. There's a new man. The new man is Christ. Who is Christ? The son of God. That's why you are now the son of God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So now you, as a child of God, everything of you is new. That is why you must not live the old life. You must not think the old way. You must not talk the old way. You must not do things like a natural man. Because those things died with Christ on the cross. Do not resurrect the old nature. The old nature of a failure. The old nature of a defeated one. The old nature of a a person in bondage, the old nature of one who is so afraid, won't even uh, move one step ahead, one who doesn't dare. No, 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 no. Those things have passed away. All things have become new. Let's see what they are. Verse 18. Verse 18. This is who you are. This is who you are. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Ha, 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 Verse 18, please. Thank you. And all things. How many things? All things. How many things? All things. One more time. How many things? All things. So all things are of God. That means your nature now is of God. The life you have is of God. Because it's the spirit of God who is in you. The same spirit that created Adam and made him a son of God according to uh, uh, Luke Chapter 3, verse 38. Adam is known as the son of God. It's the same spirit that made Jesus to be born on earth. And what did he become? A son of God. 
<laughs> that same spirit, when you receive Jesus, the Bible says as many as receive him, you know, who do you really receive? The spirit, the spirit of Christ. He comes to live in you and makes you what? A son of God. So you are exactly what Adam used to be, which is exactly what Jesus was, which is exactly what I am. Ah, I want to say it again. You are not different from the first Adam. You're not different from the last Adam, Jesus. <laughs> the Bible calls Jesus as the express image of the invisible God. Exact image of the invisible God. <laughs> exact. Now, that's the Jesus who is living in me. It's no longer I. So I am the exact image of the invisible God. Hey, excuse me, not the body. No, no, no. I've heard people preach and say, if you see my body, that's exactly how God is. Uh-uh. It's the real man, the spirit man. He is the image of God. He is the exact image of the invisible God. That's why Jesus tells us through John, the revelator, 1 John chapter 4, verse 17b. He says, as he is, so are we in this world. As he is. We are exactly as he is. Having said that, may I then say, what we lost in the first Adam, God has recreated it to be in you and in me. So what we need now is to receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Here we go. Isaiah 53 verse 1. We won't go into all the things, but just to give us an idea. Of what happens when you do what I'm teaching you now. Who has believed our report? I've just given you God's report of how he created. I've given you a report of how he has recreated us in Christ. He says, who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord? Some versions will say the hand of God. The arm or the hand speaks of two things, power and strength. But power and strength of the Lord can only be revealed to the one who believes the report. <laughs> when you believe the report, then that power is revealed to you. That work of God is done for you. <laughs> he comes into your situation when you believe. When you believe what? The report, what he is saying. So as we are here expectant of the Father's blessing, please listen carefully. It will amount to nothing if you don't believe. There's no amount of screaming I need to scream for you to receive. It's your believing that brings you into possession. It's your believing that brings you into possession. So what must you believe? Number one, you must believe in God. Why must you believe in God? Because God is God. He does not lie. He has said when you believe, his hand, his power, his strength will manifest for you. You must believe. What else must you believe? You must believe what he says about you. That this is who you are. And this is what he's doing for you. You must believe. You must believe. You must believe. You must believe. What did I show you today? I showed you that... The spirit man, when he was made, though he is spirit, he still needed the blessing to succeed in the earth realm. And you need the blessing to succeed in the earth realm. Yes, you're a child of God. You're born again. Your spirit is okay. But you need the blessing. Blessings are there in the heavens. So when we release it by faith, we are literally taking from what is yours in the heaven 
and putting it on you. And your role is, number one, to believe. Yes, believe God. Believe what he says. Believe what he has made you. Believe also in the blessing. Believe also in the blessing. If you believe in the blessing, the first part of that belief means you believe that you need the blessing. You must believe that you need the blessing. And then you come to God, trusting God, trusting God, trusting God that this servant of yours, Lord, when he releases that blessing and I receive it, that settles it. <laughs> I'll say that again. You must believe mm -hmm, that this servant whom God has sent to you today on this 27th day of March 2021, when he releases the word of blessing and you believe and receive it, you take it as your own, from this day, your life will never be the same. From this day, circumstances will change. From this day, failure is not your portion. Sickness and disease cannot stay on you. Curses cannot attach themselves to you. Because the blessing is God's empowerment. It cancels every negative thing. The blessing of God cancels every negative thing and protects you from every negative thing. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. I sense the mighty presence of God he is here to finish this assignment in your life. To deposit this blessing in your life. This blessing comes upon you and your household. This blessing is for this great church, Christian Life Center. I do declare whatever you will do as a church will never fail. I do declare in the name of Jesus that now, <laughs> this church, your graph will be like this. Why? The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. When the blessing comes on you, he makes you great. When the blessing comes on you, he moves you from greatness. He makes you very great. He makes you to reach the greatest levels you can reach. If you are a business person, in the time of COVID, your business will not go down. Never. Because the blessing empowers you to succeed. It will cause you to prosper and succeed. And even if others are failing, you have the ability of God to succeed and to prosper. It shall be as I have spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask you all to stand. Stand with me. Stand with me. Stand with me. Who has believed our report? I want you first to lift your hand, your right hand to the Lord. I want you to, if you can lift both, it's good. And I want you to repeat after me. And say, Father, say it again and say, Heavenly Father, I stand today in your presence with all of heaven as a witness. I stand in the midst of your church on earth and angels are witnesses here. I declare today that I have believed the report of the Lord. I repeat for heaven to hear and for the whole earth to hear. I shout it. I have believed the report of the Lord. I am a child of God. My spirit is not my own. 
It is the Holy Ghost in me. I am perfect in my spirit. I have dominion in the earth. I am the ruler, rightful ruler in the whole earth. I have the power of God to rule, to control, to be in charge. That is why what I decree happens. And I declare in the name of Jesus that every negative work of the devil shall no longer work in my life. I declare Jesus has set me free from sin and its power. Sin shall no longer have dominion over me. I declare weakness has no place in me. Fear has no place in me. Sickness and disease have no place in me. I underline COVID has no place in me. I declare I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I further declare he became poor that I may be rich. I declare poverty has no say in me, no part in me. It cannot attach itself to me. For he who the Son of God sets free is free indeed. I declare all the effects and the fruits of sin because of Adam's disobedience have no say in me. The law of the spirit of life overrules now the law of sin and death. I'm alive unto God, unto righteousness. Therefore, I open myself according as I have believed to now receive the blessing. I still want you to continue repeating after me. Please, I will release the blessing. But I want you to say this. From today, in this blessing, I'm receiving God's abilities. God's abilities, in every area I need them, will now work. I believe God releases abundance of his abilities for his service. I believe now angels will be around me actively working to ensure this blessing works. I believe that now I will live in and operate in great grace. I believe from today in this blessing I will also receive clear direction. I believe by this blessing I come into a disciplined and well-controlled life. I believe in this blessing that I'll live a very courageous life. Boldness is my portion. I believe creativity becomes my portion. God who blesses me gives me with the gift of faith. I believe that God's favor is now mine. Therefore, all will also favor me. All people will favor me. I believe I am blessed to have good health. Therefore, I will live long. I also believe singles, all the singles. You must say, I believe in my future for a good wife, for the young men. And you must say in this blessing, I will find a good husband for the single ladies. But for the marrieds, I want you gentlemen to say, I believe God in this blessing will make my wife a good wife. And I believe for the ladies, God will make your husband a good wife. It's all part of the blessing. 
I further declare that your marriage will be sweet and enjoyable. Therefore, I speak joy and happiness in your life, in your service to God, and in anything that you're involved in. May joy unspeakable, full of glory, be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Therefore, may you live a life of contentment, a life of full of contentment. May you have, therefore, a good outlook on life. May you not think death, but may you expect life. At this moment, say with me, I will live. I will live and not die. And I'll declare the goodness of God because of this blessing. Are you still in the house? Are you still out there? Your hands are lifted up. Your hands are lifted up. And say, I thank God for the grace of an obedient heart to the Spirit of God. I thank God who blesses me with peace. And I thank God for giving me a pleasant speech, a pleasant personality. And I thank God for promotion. I thank God for protection. I thank God for strength and power. I thank God for success and every day constant progress. I thank God for divine wisdom. Your hands are lifted. Here comes the blessing which you have already confessed is going to produce many things for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I stand as your servant. Year in, year out, we've come together and expected of you. But I ask that this one be different in a time when, Lord, it darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people, in a time of deep trouble all over the world, I specifically ask you in this blessing that you will now do something new for them. Single them out, out of the problem, into your light. Single them out, out of darkness, that they will shine. Lord, they will portray a manifested son of God. Single them out, that they be the answer in the world, in the situations where they are. Single them out that no word they speak will fall to the ground. As men and women, that you have given dominion. Whatever they bind, let it be bound. Whatever they loose, let it be loosed. Single them out, O oh God, that now signs and wonders will be seen by their hands. Much more for them and through them to glorify God. Father, I ask now in this blessing that, Lord, they will see the hand of God because they believe. I command the blessing of the Lord now to come on you. The blessing that empowers you with every God ability to live this life and succeed in this life. I command the blessing of the Lord to produce in you supernatural life. I command the blessing of the Lord to produce in you supernatural wisdom. I command the blessing of the Lord to give you victory, establish you as more than a conqueror. I command the blessing of the Lord now to make you to be the voice of God. I command you be the head and be the head above only never beneath. I declare in the name of Jesus, the hand of God is on you. The hand of God is on you. I command prosperity to you. I command success to you. Whatever you do succeeds. It increases. It multiplies and continues to grow. I say greatness is your portion. I establish you as God's people. Who when people look at, they will say, yes, these are the ones God has blessed. Because they see the hand of God in your life. In this blessing, I take away weakness, sickness, disease. I take away fear. I take away all the negative things. I declare you. I declare you as a mighty conqueror through Jesus Christ. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. Your steps be ordered of the Lord. May he now lead you to a wealthy place. Ah, may he take you into a place and may your territory be enlarged. May you possess your possessions. May you truly inherit your inheritance. Spiritual and natural 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to hear me. CLC, hear me. Out of CLC, the best men and women of God are coming forth. Out of CLC, mighty men and women of God are being raised. <laughs> Powerful, successful, very wealthy men and women of God, not just wealth, but of God are being raised. I release this blessing on you and I speak this blessing on you and your household. I say now receive it because you believe, take it because you believe, take it because you believe, take it. It's a settled matter. It has come from heaven as a settled matter. It is done in the name of Jesus. Bishop, Apostle Dr. Fines Mono, the Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. You fought. You have stood. And you've never given up, never slowed down. May God honor your faithfulness to him, to his kingdom, to his people. For your sake, may God now bless this congregation super abundantly to succeed in all you set your hands to in mission work. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Doc and the whole CLC family, thank you. The Lord bless you. We will hear of the greatness and the goodness of God working mightily through you, for you, and for many others. From this day, we confidently say, surely, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and forever. Amen. Blessings to all. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give.